Hello YouTubers. Um, today we're going to be making a really pretty uh, granny square that I'm going to show you. So I have chain six and then I have joined with a slip stitch and um, I've chained two. Now this counts as a cluster. So we're going to be doing clusters, uh, double crochet clusters. And I'm using an H hook and I'm using a, a big twist white yarn. I'm going to be doing this in different colors. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to go ahead and do our uh, first cluster, which is yarn over. Go through the loop, pull your yarn through then yarn over again and only pull through two. You have two on the hook. Since our um, two chain two counts as one cluster, we're just going to yarn over and pull through both of them. Then we're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to go ahead and start our next two clusters or our next cluster. So we're going to yarn over, go through, pull your yarn through. You're going to yarn over again and you're only going to pull through two. Then you're going to yarn over again, go back through the loop, pull up your yarn. You'll have four. You're going to yarn over and pull just through two. Then you're going to yarn over again and pull through all three. And then there's our clusters. Now you're going to continue this until you have six little whole little um, chain three here. At the end, you're going to you're going to do this. Um, to the end, you're going to you're going to chain three and slip stitch when you get here. So I'm going to show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, or I'm sorry, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull your yarn through, yarn over again, go through two, then yarn over, go back through your loop, Pull your yarn up, yarn over again, go through two, then yarn over one more time and go through all three. So now I have two loops. You want to have six of these chain three spaces with one of the chain three spaces being slip stitched to the end here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera and I'll meet you back. At okay, the end. so I went ahead and I finished. Um, I tied a little knot to secure it. I've added my new color with a slip stitch here. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do treble um, clusters. We're going to do six. It's going to be two uh, sets of three clusters in each chain three space. So. You're going to wrap around twice. Uh -huh. You're going to go through, pull up your yarn. You're going to go through the first two loops. Then you're going to yarn over again and go through the second two loops. Then you're going to stop there, yarn over, go back into the chain three space. You're going to go through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the first two loops. Then you're going to yarn over one more time. Go back through your chain, uh oh, your chain three space. And you're going to go again through the first two loops, yarn over, through the first two and then you're just gonna go through. I'm sorry, you're going to yarn over and go through the remaining loops. 
Then you're going to chain two, one and two. And we're going to put another set of three uh, treble clusters in this same chain three space. So yarn over twice, go in, pull up, yarn over again, go through the first, mm -mm, first two loops. Then you're going to yarn over again and go through the next two. Then you're going to yarn over, go back through your chain, three space, pull up, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the first two. Then you're going to do it one more time. Again, yarn over, go through the first two, and go through the first two. Then you're going to yarn over one more time, and you're going to go through all of them, just like that. And then as you're going to your next space, you're going to chain three. So one, uh-oh, two, and three. And then we're going to do it all over again. So you're going to wrap the yarn around twice, go through, pull up, and then you're going to go through the first two loops. Then you're going to yarn over, go through the next two loops. Mm -mm. There we go. And you're going to yarn over, you're going to go into your chain three space again, go through the first two, then yarn over, go through the next two, and back in, and again, first two, yarn over, first two, you're going to yarn over and go through all of them. And this is, that's your first set of three. So chain two, one, and two. And then you're going to do it all over again by yarning over twice, go through, pull up, go through the first two, then the next two. Then yarn over. Do it again. Then we yarn over again. Uh -oh. This will be the last one. Yarn over, go through all of them. So it's going to look something like that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this um, off camera and then I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I am coming up on the end of this. And at the end, you're just going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then you're going to slip stitch. This very first stitch there. So that is how we do that. Now, um, I'm going to cut that. And in that, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off here by just putting it through the loop and pulling it and making a very tight knot. You can always clip these off at the end. You can crochet over them. Now I'm going to add my next color, which is going to be uh, brown. Uh -uh. So I got a knot here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have a slip start, slip stitch, slip knot rather. I'm sorry. And I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the chain two, right here. What I'm gonna do is not. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do a slip stitch. I'm going to do a uh, uh oh, a single crochet right here. And what we're going to do is you're going to do three single crochets in the chain two spaces. So that's three. And then you want to do five single crochets in the chain three spaces. So one, two, 
three, four, and five. So and then I want to keep going and do my three single crochets in my chain two space. And then five in the chain three. So one, two, three, four, and five. And again, two. And just gonna repeat that all the way until you get to the end and you're going to slip stitch at the end so I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then I'll meet you back at the end okay so you see that I have went all the way around now in this last loop here it is a chain three um, you want to have an even set of stitches in order to make your square so in this um, in this loop in this chain three space I have put four single crochets to come out with 44 stitches and I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch. And I'm going to do what I've been doing before. I'm going to cut off my Okay, line. so we're going to do where, right where we um, tied off our last round. We're going to do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Then we're going to skip two stitches, so one and two. I'm going to do three double crochet in the next stitch. So one, two, and three. Then you're going to skip two more stitches and do another three. So one, two, and three. Then I'm going to skip another two stitches and do another three. One, two, and three. Now you have to be 11 before you get to the corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to skip two. And let's see, I said that was one, two, that was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. So this would be our corner where we would do double crochet. Then another double crochet. Then you want to chain two, one and two. And then two more double crochet into that same stitch. Let's see. And then you skip two and three double crochets. One, two, uh -oh. and this is three. And then we skip two more. One, two, and we do. Three, one, two, and three. And then we skip two, so one and two, and do three, yes, three. Double crochet here. So one, two, and three. 
and then we skip to and do our corner. So this is two double crochet here. Chain two, one, two, and do two more double crochet in that same stitch. Okay, and then we skip two and do three double crochet here. So one, two, and three. And then we skip two more, one and two, three double crochet here. Uh -oh. One, two, and three. Then we skip two more and three double crochet here. One, two, and three. And now, because that's three sets, now we will do our corner. So skip two, and then this is one, and two double crochet in the same stitch, then chain two, one, and two, and then you want to do two more double crochet, uh-oh, in that same stitch. There's our corner, and then I'm going to skip to do three double crochet here, one, two, and three, and then I'm going to skip two more and do Three double crochet here, one, two, and three. Oh no. Okay, and three. And then we have one. Actually. We should have one double curl, one row left. So it looks like just gonna skip one and put it here. One. Two and three. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And then we want to slip stitch first stitch like that. Okay, so there. It looks kind of funny because, you know, it's from a circle to a square. But there you go. And then you want to go and use, so like I said, take with, um, click it off. Tied off like that, and then we come back with our next color here, which is our pink. And you start off, you would attach here, 
and you want to do a chain two. Attach right where you left off, chain two, and then you want to go ahead and do your corner, which is double crochet, double crochet. And we chain two, one and two, and then two more double crochets. One, just trying to fix my camera so you guys can see better okay and then we'll just go on with it doing our granny square so three double crochets into the next space And you continue on with your granny square as uh, normal. And you see it can it's starting to it'll start showing the square. There we go. So it starts to look more like a Gorney square now. And I get to my corner here. And again, this is two double crochets right into that chain two space. Chain two, one, and two. And then two more double crochets into that same chain two space. Like that. Now at the end of the last round, uh, I miscalculated and you saw me add, instead of skipping two, I skipped one and put my three uh, double crochets. Um, this is my first time actually doing this pattern. Okay, so we're gonna continue. One. Two and three. And one. There we go. This is two and three. And again, one. two and three and then we do our corner uh oh it looks like my ball of yarn ran away so this is one and two and then we chain two And two more double crochets into that chain two space. Oh, shoot. Looks like I lost my yarn. Okay. One and two. 
There we go. Okay, and now <clears throat> we're almost coming to the end. Of one more corner to do. So we do our three. Another three. That's two and one more. And again, one, uh -oh. two, and three. And one, uh -oh. two, and this is three. And then here, our corner again. So again, that's two, double crochet. And then chain two, one, two. And two more double crochet in the same chain two space. Go. And then we continue on with our three double crochet. So one, two. Mm -mm. And our last one is three. And then one, two, and three. And this one. One, uh -oh. two, and three. And this would be where I put that extra because I didn't have, so I, instead of skipping two, I skipped one. So this one would go here. One. Okay. So one, two, and three. And then we do simply do a slip stitch right this first stitch down there. Ugh. Okay, there we go. So, and now the corner, it starts looking more like a square. there and then um, to finish it off you would go around with the uh, let's see here the brown since I didn't use the brown okay so again I cut that off I would finish it like this Then I take my brown, make my slip knot like normal, and I would start right where, they, and I do start off with a single crochet. And this round 
it's simply easy. You're just going to single crochet all the way around it until you get to the corners. And in the corners you will put, instead of the um, two double crochet, chain two double crochet, you're going to put two, three, four, and put six in the chain two space. So one, two, I just want to move it over, three, four, five, and six. Six in those spaces and then I'm just going to continue on single crocheting in every stitch until you get to the corner again. Okay. As you see, I'm coming up on my corner again, all the way to the very last stitch. Then I do my six, so uh -uh. one, two, three, four, and I need to do three more, so four, five and six and then I'm just going to continue on I'm coming up on my corner again here. And again, it's six. So one, two, three, four, five, last one, six. And then And we're doing our very last corner here. Uh-oh. Yarn is rolling away again. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, Five and six. And then again, I'm coming up. This is the last um, few stitches I have to do here.
And when you come up on the end, all you want to do is just slip stitch to the very first stitch. Go. Right there. And there you have it. And so this is what it should look like. And of course, if you have any of these little pieces on the end, you can always just go back and do a little trim and trim them off. But um, now this would be the end, but you can always continue. You can always keep going. Um, you can chain two here. Then you can start off with your corner and you can do, um, like I said, you can do the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then you can do it like I was doing before you skip two, then do your uh, three double crochet, and then skip two, three double crochet. And then you would go all the way around like that. And you could keep going with the granny square if you wanted to. But um, I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial for this granny square. And as always, I am Pink Olay saying happy crochet. Mm -hmm.